Good morning. Does God call for his people to act in fairness and do what's right? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 21 and verses 11 through 14. And concerning the house of the king of Judah, say, Hear the word of the Lord, O house of David. Thus says the Lord, Execute judgment in the morning, and deliver him who is plundered out of the hand of the oppressor, lest my fury go forth like fire and burn so that no one can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Behold, I am against you, O inhabitants of the valley and rock of the plain, says the Lord, who say, Who shall come down against us? Or who shall enter our dwellings? But I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings, says the Lord. I will kindle a fire in its forest, and it shall devour all things around it. Sometimes the people of God begin to forget their situation. They've joined themselves to a holy God, a God who differentiates between right and wrong. And in they, when they do that, uh, they are putting themselves in a place where they're indicating they're going to do right. See, to be joined to him is to indicate that you agree with him about what's right and that you yourself are committed to engaging in right behavior. There's very little that God takes more seriously than the victim of the oppressor. So he warns the oppressor not to oppress. But somehow the oppressor often plows straight on with his oppression, and then the hammer falls and God teaches by a strong lesson not to oppress. So now here, Jeremiah is given a message from God to the house of Judah. This isn't a message to the king. This is a message to the house of Judah, the whole house of Judah. This was the most powerful tribe there, and Zedekiah had appointed most of the key different positions in the government to, of course, his own fellow members of the tribe of Judah. Unsurprisingly, Jeremiah condemns these leaders for all their inappropriate behavior, all their indifference to God's orders, indifference to God's will and purpose, indifference to what's right and what's wrong, just doing injustice and just carrying on, greasing the, the wheels of government and doing everything the way that suits the political moment. Jeremiah is not in favor of that, so, so this is a strong condemnation of them. He's urging them to come up higher. And this condemnation here is not just uh, an opinion. This is based on their actions. We see it right in the text. He's unhappy. God is unhappy with their actions. What they are actually doing is evil and wrong, and God calls them on it. Absolutely not, he says. Stop. And as is often the case, the geopolitical situation, as it degenerated for the kingdom of Judah, so also did the morals and the doing of right by the different officers in the government. So things are at a pretty low moral ebb here for the kingdom right before the invaders come in. And every person will be held accountable for their unrepented evil. The hard times don't give us a free break about doing right. We need to do right under any and all circumstances. And so there we have it. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, please help us in whatever situation we are in to do right. Help us not to slide downward morally with the others who are sliding downward morally. May we be just and right, Lord, as we work with you in whatever position you put us in. Lord, help us to be children of God, not children of the earth. Help us to rise above all the things that, that enrich us for selfish reasons and that don't help your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. So, Lord, we're asking for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yes, God calls his people to do right, and he makes no exception for those of us who live in crazy times. So God be with you today in all that you do.